With much anticipation and excitement, students arrived at school last week to kick off the 2021-2022 school year. Behind masked faces were an abundance of smiles as educators greeted students, some of which haven't been in a school building for over a year. But it wasn't just our school staff welcoming students. Community partners, city leaders, faith-based organizations, and energetic college students all played an important role to make the return to school memorable. <laughs> At Woodside High School, Tommy Riemann Jr., founder and CEO of City On My Chest, a national apparel brand, helped create a festive mood for students arriving on the first day. City On My Chest handed out raffle tickets to students as they entered the school and Tommy Riemann selected the winning numbers during the school's morning announcements with chances to win great prizes to start the school year in style. <laughs> At a number of schools, community partners and faith-based organizations play an important role throughout the school year by supporting teachers, donating school supplies, and mentoring students. These same groups were overjoyed to be in person on the first day of school. <laughs> At Jenkins Elementary, First Baptist Church Morrison welcomed students, while at Palmer Elementary, Denby Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated treated teachers and staff to coffee and donuts. <laughs> the brothers of Psi Upsilon at Christopher Newport University have a long-standing relationship with the students and staff at Heidenwood Elementary. The community-focused fraternity is looking forward to spending time mentoring students and they lent their abundance of enthusiasm to greeting Huskies on their first day. <laughs> Alongside roadways and in front of schools, student athletes from Christopher Newport University spent their morning cheering on students during the first day. Along Warwick Boulevard, CNU student athletes representing multiple sports teams held up signs reminding drivers to be on the lookout for students and buses on their way to and from school. And at a number of elementary schools, even more teams made time to greet students, welcoming them back for a wonderful year of learning. The Southeast community threw a block party for the whole city to enjoy. Spread across the campuses of an Achievable Dream Middle and High School and Heritage High, the Southeast community back to school block party offered free school supplies for students, important resources for families, and entertaining and fun activities for everyone. The event was organized by the Southeast Community Coalition, which includes Newport News Public Schools, Achievable Dream Incorporated, Ivy Baptist Church, and Newport News Parks Recreation and Tourism. Superintendent Dr. George Parker welcomed over a thousand people to the epic weekend event and thanked everyone for supporting our youth and wished them a great start to the new school year. Just for showing up, Every attendee received a backpack with important school supplies, free food, a fresh haircut, and access to wonderful community resources to support families and students. Across both campuses, a range of fun activities and games kept students of all ages engaged, including a three-on-three -three basketball tournament, DJ lessons, and a touch-a-truck display. On the main stage, Everyone enjoyed performances from different youth groups or followed along to an up-tempo Zumba lesson. The Southeast Community Block Party was a huge success, bringing an entire community together to celebrate another great year of learning for our youth. As the newest school in Newport News Public Schools, the Virtual Learning Academy is experiencing many firsts. 170 high school students are enrolled in the inaugural year of the Virtual Learning Academy. Housed at Point Option, the VLA allows 9th through 12th grade students to safely thrive in a virtual learning environment while still participating in sports, extracurricular activities, clubs, and magnet programs at their assigned schools. With 36 highly trained and creative teachers, students have access to over 75 virtual courses including career and technical education classes, electives, special education services, and honors and advanced placement courses. In August, the VLA staff came together for their first professional learning day. Principal Chris Smith and his leadership team designed a day for educators to collaborate in a fun setting, learn new strategies for success, 
and explore the endless potential that virtual learning offers. A week later, this dream team of virtual educators welcomes students during an in-person open house. In the parking lot in front of Point Option, students and families met their teachers, learned specifics about the VLA, and enjoyed free food from local food trucks. Many educators utilized QR codes to allow parents to stay up to date with information about each virtual course. And now, the Virtual Learning Academy is up and running, allowing students to experience a new way of learning and succeeding in the 21st century. For the third time in the last six years, Benchville High School has been selected as the grand prize winner of the Lead for Change Challenge. Benchville student team, Fair Share, received a $10,000 prize for their service projects designed to encourage student activism and address hunger issues in our community. Only six schools across the nation accomplished this feat. Lead for Change is the nation's fastest growing privately funded student leadership program, which builds leadership skills through critical thinking, problem solving, communication, and collaboration. Even through the limitations of a global pandemic and virtual learning, Minchville student leaders organized a district-wide Thanksgiving food drive and created an advocacy project for all Newport News Public School students. This year's award money will be split with $5,000 supporting Thrive Peninsula and $5,000 to sustain Minchville's garden, food pantry, and future projects to benefit families in need. <laughs>